Hello everyone, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Happy Thursday, I hope you're well. Uh, I'm sitting here with Sparky, our RAV4 EV. That's what all that noise is. She's doing a balancing charge. Uh, she's just got back on the road last Sunday. So I thought you'd like to see her. If you want to know more about Sparky and you are wondering what is she talking about, there is a video just here that you can watch explaining everything. But what do I want to talk to you about today? I want to talk to you today about ownership models for EVs moving forward. You see, when Sparky was brand new back in 2002, the majority of electric cars on the market were leased, at least in the state of California, which was admittedly one of the only places that you could buy or lease an electric car. There were Arizona and a few other places, but mainly California. And um, Modern electric cars, you can either lease or you can buy them outright. Sparky here survived, um, has survived by not being crushed. And she was not crushed because she was one of about 350 RAV4 EVs that was actually purchased by their owners towards the end of Toyota's RAV4 EV program. There were 3000 plus of these made and the majority were crushed back in the noughties. Um, so she is a rare survivor. But my question revolves around whether we should be buying electric cars or whether we should be leasing them or whether we should be treating electric cars like we treat mobile cell phone plans. If you think about it, our iPhones or our Android phones or our smartphones, whatever your, your phone is, um, you can go to your mobile cell phone company and you can sign up for a plan in which you agree to pay a certain number of pounds or dollars or whatever your local currency is per month for a year, two years, and in exchange, you get a discounted cell phone or sometimes even a free cell phone. Now, imagine if you will, that energy companies start doing the same with electric vehicles. Instead of buying your car and then paying for your electricity on top, and let's face it, electricity is pretty cheap, you actually agree that you're gonna pay I don't know, let's say $200 or £200 per month, and that is unlimited fuel for your car, and you get a free car with it. And when you come to the end of your contract, you hand the car back and you walk away or you upgrade to the latest model. Now, there are some advantages to that. The first one being you don't have to worry about battery degradation. The second one being that you always get the latest EV, as Tesla owners will all too be familiar with. Uh, Tesla's always bringing out a new version of the Model S or the Model X and you buy one and then you know three months down the line it's no longer the the new shiny now I wouldn't care about that I drive a 15 year old EV but some people want to be on the cutting edge they want to have the latest model but my question for you is how would that work cars are not cell phones but electric cars are not traditional cars so what ownership model works best for them? Should we still be buying them outright? Should we be leasing them and expecting to turn the car back after three years? Or should we enter into these mobile cell phone style contracts where the mileage that you do in your car and the number of times you charge it and the amount of electricity you use is kind of irrelevant. You're just paying for the coverage that that company offers you, whether it is unlimited miles, um, you know, unlimited uh, breakdown assistance if you go beyond the range of your vehicle or, you know, you can borrow a gas car as many times as you want within that period, just as long as you drive an EV all the, the rest of the time. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what you think. Thanks for watching today. Oh, and before I go, I'm sorry that there wasn't a thought of the day on Tuesday or Wednesday this week. On Tuesday, I was off work all day, uh, dressed as a giant fluffy animal, making kids' lives better in hospital. I was doing some freelance mascotting that day, so I hope you can forgive me. And yesterday, I was just catching up with all the work and all the paperwork that I had to do. So thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another episode of TEN. There's definitely going to be one. And until then, keep evolving.